Welcome to Numercon. We have some of the best data scientists in the world here today. Kind of like one in 10 people is a Kaggle Grandmaster. Um, we have people who've come from Hungary, India, Germany, the Netherlands, Canada, and we have people watching live uh, from Japan. And I think it's like 3 a.m. there. Um, we even have the co-founder of Renaissance Technologies joining live from New York later on. So what are we here for? Well, we're here to talk about the Numerai Master Plan. What is it? The master plan for Numerai is simple. Number one, monopolize intelligence. Number two, monopolize data. Number three, monopolize money. And number four, decentralize the monopoly. It's kind of ambitious, but if we can do it, it will be one of the most uh, important things to have ever happen in finance. It will change the stock market forever, and it will be like an alien superintelligence has landed on Wall Street. It will move capital from the bad companies to the good companies, making the world a better place. So how are we doing with the master plan? Well, let's start with intelligence. We've made a lot of progress gathering models. Over the last two and a half years, the number of staked models on Numerai has gone up 15 X. Over the same period, the USD value of NMR staked against these models is up 100x, has gone from 300,000 to $30 million staked, depending on the price of NMR. But that's right as of a few minutes ago. Um, so in terms of intelligence, we have seem to have made a, made, a, made a lot of progress. And I, I like the staking number a lot because it means that over the last two and a half years, data scientists are kind of like a hundred times more confident in their models. Because remember, on Numerai, when you stake, you're staking on the fact that your model is going to generalize on live data and not just be overfit to historical data. But does growth in staked models equal growth in intelligence? Are we really getting more intelligent with every model? Actually, no, not really. What we need is growth in models that contribute intelligence to Numerai. And this tautology here, growth in models contributing intelligence equals growth in intelligence, is actually kind of a useful uh, way of thinking about something new that we've been working on. So let's look at how we previously analyzed models on Numerai to see how good they were. Well, there's all these obvious things you could do. I mean, if you think about a model, what do you want? You want the signal generated by that model to have subsequent correlation with uh, future returns. And we've tried all of these things uh, to measure how good a signal is, from AUC against a classification target to correlation with returns, like information coefficient, uh, to MMC and FNC, and, and also residual return target. But all of these suck because none of them uh, appreciate the whole Numerai system. They all ignore certain things that are important to Numerai. For example, if you submit a model we already have, we clearly, there's no extra benefit to the intelligence of Numerai. If your model has weird interaction effects with the other models that hurt performance, your model's also not adding intelligence to the system. So we need to evaluate Numerize as a whole end-to-end -end artificial intelligence system. And that is what we've done with something we released a few days ago called True Contribution. <laughs> So true contribution is cool because if you understand true contribution, you understand all of Numerai. This diagram is what Numerai is. We have models that are training on data sets that are generating signals, right? And we make Numerai data scientists stake their models 
with the NMR cryptocurrency. So models make signals, signals are staked, and how do we combine them? Well, we take all of the models put together using the stake weighted average. So that means if someone's staking $100,000 worth of NMR on their model, they'll have a high stake in the stake weighted meta model. So that's all the simple part. A lot of people understood that. But what's, what's next is the optimization step. So this is a bit complicated because Numerai users are creating signals on 5,000 stocks. But an optimizer that Numerai has developed is turning those signals into trades and portfolios. And it's a lot of, a lot of stuff is happening in this step that is not really uh, visible to any Numerai users. So after the optimization step, of course, we can compute a portfolio return, right? So what is true contribution? Well, what do we, what do we care about? We care about that the top part, the models, combined with a stake, ultimately increase your portfolio returns at the end of this process. And so the question is, what is the gradient of the stake with respect to portfolio returns? And if you could answer that question, you would know, well, if this model had a higher weight in the meta model, would it help or hurt? And if it would help, then Numerai should pay that model more money because what we pay to that model will go straight into their stake. And so that is what true contribution does. It creates this feedback loop that covers the whole of Numerai. And some initial results of it look really good. So what we've done is we've backfilled true contribution for all the thousands of stake models on Numerai. And we found a few interesting cases. So here we have a user we talk about a lot. His name's HB. He is a, he's a, a NASA engineer. He works at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. But you can tell uh, there's, a, there's a much larger stake on his model that has lower true contribution, TC, in the purple. So it's like he's misallocating his stake to models that aren't helping Numerai as much. And so now that we've surfaced true contribution, we hope that it'll make all kinds of alterations to the staking behavior of the Numerai data scientists and walk us closer and closer to a much more intelligent system. And TC staking begins on April 9th. So any user here will be able to stake on true contribution and have their rewards be based on it. So true contribution is a huge advance for monopolizing intelligence on Numerai. It turns Numerai into this feedback loop where only the models that are contributing intelligence, more intelligence, are rewarded. So I think it's one of the most important things we've actually ever done. And a lot of, I'm getting a lot of interesting feedback on it from, from our data scientists here today. But since nothing like it's ever been tried before, and it's gonna become one of the most important things on Numerai, I'm going to hand over to our chief scientist, Michael Oliver, to say more. So as a participant, you're probably wondering what exactly is true contribution and how do I get it? So true contribution rewards signals that would improve our optimized portfolio. And so therefore it's, op it's evaluated at the portfolio level rather than the signal level. And therefore, it depends on your signal, the portfolio optimizer, and what everyone else is doing. So this, for the first time, aligns the incentives between participants and the hedge fund. So going back to this graph, you can see that models going at the top, all the various models you guys create of varying kinds, and they're just linearly weighted by your stakes. Which, and the stake-weighted meta model is then just a weighted average of all the models, predictions. Those predictions are fed to our convex optimizer, which creates a portfolio which is neutral or less exposed to various risk factors that we care about for a portfolio. We can then take that portfolio and see how it actually does in the real world and get feedback on it four weeks later. And those portfolio returns uh, can then be differentiated with, with respect to, and we can actually see what the derivative of those returns are with respect to the stakes. 
And then the, 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 that derivative is exactly what we feed back to users as their true contribution. And so we're actually adjusting the weights of the models in our meta model to make the meta model better in a very direct way through tr true contribution. And with recent advances in re uh, research, you can do this quite simply. There's amazing code that people have made. And so true contribution is actually implemented in PyTorch with a package called CVX PyLayers. And CVX PyLayers lets you actually take a convex optimization and put it into a PyTorch model. And so this is actually real code to implement true contribution. And so the stakeweighted meta model is just a linear model, just taking all the user predictions, weighting them by their stakes. You can see where the stakes are basically just set to the weights in that linear model. Uh, the N1 optimizer is just our portfolio optimizer written in CVX. And basically, you can then take the user predictions, feed them through this model, get a portfolio and the signal out, take the portfolio, multiply it by the stock returns, and get the returns of the portfolio. Then you just take the, great, the derivative, and that the derivative you get out is just the TC contribution for each participant. So th this mechanism drives feedback, uh, drives evolution of the meta model in a couple different ways. If all the models stayed the same, we would just be doing gradient descent and adjusting the weights of all the models, which makes the meta model better. But people will also respond to the incentives and try to make their model better at getting TC, which will drive both a, 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 a hopefully a diversity of approaches, it's a much bigger incentive towards originality, which will make a better ensemble overall. And this is actually a real world example of human in the loop stochastic gradient descent. So how do you get TC? It's a little bit complicated to try to figure out how you would do that, so one way we can approach this is to see what metrics you guys already know about that are related to TC. And so I just fit a model to go from metrics that you, you guys are aware of to TC. And we can, uh, I'm not gonna go through each and every one of these metrics, but the uh, main message is you wanna, to get TC, you want to, um, uh, to create a signal that isn't linearly predictive, explainable by the individual features. And you wanna also make sure that your signal has predictive power in the tails. The upper and lower values of your signal are most important for determining what stocks we buy to uh, long and short positions in, and so you wanna make sure you have predictive power in those tails. And you also wanna make sure your signal doesn't have too high a correlation with any single features in case that feature turns around on you. And you also wanna make sure your signal is unique. You don't want it to be the same as everyone else because if that is not helpful for us and it is not helpful for getting TC. So these are things we've always suggested to users, but it hasn't always been in users' self-interest to listen to us, but now it is. So for the first time, we have perfect alignment between the incentives for numerai participants and the hedge fund. So now we're gonna take a little break, and when we come back, our Minister of Data is gonna to talk to uh, you about how we're going to monopolize data in the true contribution world. Thank you.